This is not a fairy tale. Come and play the game. If you want to take the tower on, you'll have to say his name. It's Wily Sneak, Wily Sneak, Wily Sneak. <laughs> Now it's off to the tower. You'll be up against each other. Sabotage the game, my friend, but do not blow your cover. I am waiting for you, kiddies. Who will take the rap? Because only one will escape, and the rest... <laughs> You're trapped! Shh. Come in quietly if you have to. The caretaker's hunting. And I think I've caught it under here. <laughs> <laughs> Blastable squills! They live in my garret and they steal me cheese! <laughs> That's it. I've tried to be nice. Now it's time to get squirrels trapped. That should catch their nasty farious soft little tails. Speaking of trappings, the next bobbing craft of unfortunates are on their way. It's another bunch from that backwards village, London. Yeah, East London this time. Oh, my, mate. <laughs> Let's hope they're quieter than that last lot. Yeah. Anyway, see with your own goggle spots. They're here. <whistles> ah, so, up they comes. Up to the tower. The dark, ancient, rotting, foulsome tower. Although the bats are quite cute. <laughs> so, who's in my fresh batch of cagelings this week? Mitchell, he sleeps standing on his head in a bucket of cold sick. Shapressa, her prized possession is a packet of walnuts. Bradley, once trips over a daisy. Shamara, earwax candle maker. Marie, hula hoop champion, 1926. And last, there's Samadol. He keeps an alien in his back pocket. I only came to the tower for a night's kip hundreds of years ago, but I've been trapped here ever since. The voice caught me. She's a cruel mistress. I've never seen her, but you can always hear her talking in your nice all. <laughs> She's promised to let me go, only if I help her trap as many unfortunates as possible in the tower. This is my watch tank. From here, I get to see everything that goes on in the tower. Six unfortunates starts here at the top and works their way downwards. If they makes it out the bottom, they're home in time for tea and a nice wormy roll. But it's not that easy. To escape each floor, they have to complete a challenge together. But one of them cannot be trusted. The saboteur. <clears throat> The saboteur's job is to make sure they all fail the challenge. The voice chooses a new saboteur on each floor. You are the saboteur. And she talks to them secretly using the whisper clip, a cunning little device that goes right inside their noise hole, which means that she can be murmuring helpful, stinky little tips to them without the others hearing. If the team succeed, the saboteur will be trapped on that floor. If the team fail, it could be any one of them. In the end, only one will escape. The rest will be trapped. <laughs> floor six, toxic treats. <laughs> ah, sweet toxic treats. <sighs> it's like the worstest Christmas presents you could ever, ever have full of nasty surprises. <laughs> to show you how it's done, here's Wily Snake, an unfortunate trapped a hundred years ago. In this challenge, the unfortunates will have to pick parcels from a pile of presents. Some contain lovely treats, whilst others contain something toxic. Unfortunate must open three lovely presents to pass the challenge. But if they open three presents full of stink, they'll fail. Remember, not everyone will be trying to win. On each floor, there's always someone who can't be trusted. So, who is it this time? Don't look at me. It's up to the voice. It's time to pick the saboteur. Marie, 
do not react. You are the saboteur, and you are the only person who can hear my voice. It is your job to ensure your team fail this challenge. All the presents with the color purple anywhere on them are toxic. You must convince your teammates to open three of these presents to fail. But remember, you must remain undetected. I will guide you through your whisper clip. This is the part I love best. I know who it is, you know who it is, but the rest of them don't. <laughs> Unfortunates, this is Toxic Treats. To pass, you must open three good presents. If you open three bad presents, you will automatically fail. Let the challenge begin now. Okay, who, who wants to go first? Okay, Marie, let's see which one they pick. Probably pick the wrong one because... Oh, yes. Yeah, because if you pick the wrong one, then it's probably but like a good one. Mate, do you know what, 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 what do you like? Which, which one do you... I don't know what do you like to choose. Do you want to pick the wrong one? Um, if you want. Yes. 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 Maybe. Okay. yes is a purple one. Agree with that. Yeah, fingers crossed. It's, it's a good one. Nice reaction, Marie. Right, that's one to you, Marie. What one will you go for next? Um, I want to do the ugly. That one might be a good one. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I want to go the yeah. biggest. Try that one. Try that one. What should you... Do you want that one? Well, I don't know. Don't worry. Let them have this one. Yeah! Oh, it's one to them, one to you. Come on, Mitchell. Okay, come on, Mitchell. Wicked. They want the present labelled maybe or wicked. Both of these are toxic. So sit yeah, back and let them make their own mistakes. No, wicked. I'm gonna do wicked. Yeah, wicked. Okay, I don't know what. <laughs> you've got them again. One more toxic present and you've made them fail. Do you know how we can back China? I'm going for it. This is okay, not go good. Go in. Okay, be careful. Yes! Well, good one. No need to rush, Marie. Come on, do that one. Don't one. pick me. Which one? one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Marie, wait. Oh, Don't make the decision on your own. You look too suspicious. <laughs> you have failed miserably. Ha! Looks like the challenge has been sabotaged. But has the saboteur been seen? You must now vote for who you think the saboteur is. Mitchell, who do you think the saboteur was and why? I think it was Bradley. Because Bradley was always picking the ones that I thought were very, very wrong. Shipressa. I think it was Marie because she picked the last one that was wrong and she was, was, was really quite determined to pick it. Bradley. I think it was Samadol because it wasn't cheering that much when we got good presents. Shamara. I think it was Marie because we said, don't pick ugly. She just said, no, no, I want to pick this one. Marie. I think it was Bradley because he kept on picking a few bad ones. Samadol. I think it was Marie because she kept choosing her own stuff. You have voted for Marie. The saboteur was, in fact, Marie. Marie, you will not be leaving this room. The others are free to pass to the next floor. The saboteur's been trapped! Marie, how do you feel about being trapped? Um, it's a bit horrible because this room is quite hot. And it's a bit boring because there's nothing really to do, but... All you, all you can do is, like, pick up presents. Poor, unfortunate Marie. You're trapped! Ah! Marie's the first, because three of them suspected her, and these were right. Floor five. Freaky factory. This floor doesn't stop for anyone. I wonder why it's called the Freaky Factory. Maybe everyone who works there is a total freaky freak, freaking freako. Let's find out. 
This is Freaky Factory. As a team, the unfortunates must fill the egg boxes on the conveyor belt with matching coloured vulture eggs, which they will find at the back of each booth. To successfully complete the challenge, they must correctly fill five of the coloured boxes. They only have 90 seconds to do it, but beware, the saboteur will be working against them. Remember, one of them cannot be trusted, but who is it? Bradley, do not react. You are the saboteur. It is your job to ensure your team fail this challenge. You can do this by stopping the others from filling the boxes with eggs. Smash or steal eggs if you like. Anything to stop them. The voice in his whisper clip will help him with stinky tips so he can sabotage the challenge. Unfortunates, this challenge is Freaky Factory. To pass, you must correctly fill five egg boxes. You have 90 seconds in which to do it. Let the challenge begin now. Okay, Bradley, how can you get rid of all these eggs? That box is already complete. You need to get rid of the eggs. That's it. One box complete. What else could you do? Good idea, but Shapressa may have seen you. Be careful. 60 seconds. Shapressa knows something's going on. What are you going to do about it? Could you make the others think it's her? Excellent good thinking. Look out, Bradley. Here comes a full box. Two boxes completed. Nice sabotage, Bradley. Three boxes completed. Keep going. Brilliant, Bradley. You're really winding Shapressa up. She's the only one who's suspicious. 30 seconds. Try throwing an egg in another direction. That might confuse the others. That box is almost full. Do something. One egg won't be enough. Four boxes completed. Ten. Nine, That's better. Eight, Bradley, seven, they have completed four six, boxes. You can't let five, any more boxes through. Four, three, two, one. Your time is up. You have failed miserably. Ha <laughs> ha! Looks like the saboteurs do it. But were they spotted? You must now vote for who you think the saboteur is. Bradley, who do you think the saboteur was and why? I think it was Shapressa because I saw her eggs go down on the floor from her booth. Shamara. I think it was Bradley because when I went back to get some of my eggs, he had loads of eggs like he was taking his time and he was being so slow. Samadol. I think it was Shamara because I kept hearing her say, oh no, and like she was, I think she was exaggerating. Mitchell. I think it was Shapressa because I saw her throwing eggs at the ground and boxes. Shapressa. Who do you think the saboteur was? Well, I think it was Bradley because he kept on throwing eggs in, and boxes of eggs in front of mine so everybody would start thinking it was me. You have voted for Shapressa and Bradley. Oh, it's a draw. And you know what that means? It's the draw straws. Whoever draws the short straw will be trapped. Shapressa, you have drawn the short straw and will therefore be the unlucky one. Oh. I can now reveal the saboteur was, in fact, Bradley. Shapressa, you will not be leaving this room. The others are free to pass to the next floor. Ha! Huh, I can't believe he got away with it! Shapressa, why do you think the others voted for you? Well, I think the others voting for me, it was because, well, Bradley threw the eggs onto my, well, factory bit, so then everybody thought, oh, wow, Shapressa's got the most eggs smashed, it's her. Poor, unfortunate Shapressa. You're trapped! Shapressa! 
Irish oppressor drew the short straw, and Bradley the saboteur got away with it. Tough justice. Floor four, snake attack. My snakes are ready for a bite. Some people say snake attack is scary, but I think it's simply hilarious. A strange wall faces the unfortunate. <laughs> one of them must make it safely from one side to the other, choosing which holes to put their hands in. They must choose wisely, because the wall is home to a hungry, child-eating python. She'll be waiting in one of the holes for a little snack. It's simple. If they get bitten three times, they fail. Can they trust everyone on their team? Not likely. But who will it be? That's up to the voice. Mitchell, do not react. You are the saboteur. It is your job to ensure your team fail this challenge. You can do this by steering your team towards the snake. I will tell you where the snake is. You must use your powers of persuasion to fail this task. Oh, Sly Fox Mitchell is the next saboteur. He's not to be trusted. I know that and you know that, but they don't. <laughs> Unfortunates, this challenge is snake attack. You must avoid the child-eating python. Let the challenge begin now. Mitchell, the snake is in the top hole. I'd do the bottom if I was you. Probably the top. Top. You know what I mean? Yeah, the top. Top. Second. Shall I go for it? Go. Well it. persuaded, Mitchell. She's going to get bitten. In there. <laughs> Sorry, I don't like that. Mitchell, the <laughs> snake is in the middle hole. Oh. Try the bottom. Now that's where I would go. <laughs> Try the bottom. I think Bradley's safe. Convince them. Yeah, but, um, down, down. You scared? Yeah. Just do it. Well, just do it. Just do it. That hole is safe, Mitchell. Okay, ready? Yeah. You can scream if you wish. Push your hand right in. Remember to act happy. Yes! Yes! You're lucky. Mitchell, the snake is now in the bottom hole. Bottom was safe last time, so do you want to do it again? No, it might be bad, it might be bad. I think you should do it again, actually. Yeah. Are you sure it's going to be safe again? Because I think the middle one was the one on the first one. That'd be a good idea. Convince her it's yeah, safe. Like middle, yeah, I would say the bottom's yeah. definitely safe. Let's shove it in quickly and get it out. She's not going good. to like this. <laughs> it was a snake. The middle. Mm, I would. The snake is in the middle <laughs> hole. Middle. Middle for sure. Middle? Oh, sure. One to middle? Middle. Sure. Middle. Yeah, do middle. the middle. Middle. Yeah, middle. Do the middle. Come on. Do the middle. middle. Pop it in. Pop it in. Go close. Right. Come on, someone. You have failed miserably. Ooh, you've got to be sneaky to sabotage successful like. Did the saboteur have what it takes? You must now vote for who you think the saboteur is. Samadil, who do you think the saboteur was and why? Bradley, because he was first to say which one to choose and I think it was Bradley. Mitchell. I think it was Bradley because one was on one he said, let's do the middle one straight away and there was the snake in there. Bradley, who do you think the saboteur was? I think it was Mitchell because on the second one he said probably, so like do the top or middle, you know, like that. And that sounded a bit mysterious. Shamara. I think it was Bradley because he was telling me to put my hands in the places and all the time it was mainly the snake. You have voted for Bradley. The saboteur was, in fact... Mitchell. <laughs> Bradley, you will not be leaving this room. The others are free to pass to the next floor. Who oh, made the team fail and got away with it? Perfect sabotage. Bradley, why do you think the others voted for you? Maybe it was because I kept on telling tomorrow what one it should be. And I was the only one that was really doing it, but they joined in after. Samadol and Mitchell joined in after me. Poor, unfortunate Bradley. You're trapped! Ah, 
Bradley's past caught up with him. He wasn't the saboteur this time, but they didn't trust him after Freaky Factory. Floor three, Poison Banquet. This floor is a feast of wickedness. Oh, the unfortunates have bitten off more than they can chew. This will leave a bad taste in their mouths. Uh. The unfortunates face a five-course banquet. Taken in turns, they must eat one cake from each course. But unfortunates beware. One of the three cakes in each course is poisoned. Uh. To pass the challenge, the team must eat three good cakes before they eat three poisoned ones. But who is the dinner guest trying to poison the others? You know the drill. Who will it be? Who will it be? Who will it be? <laughs> Don't ask me. It's up to the voice. Samadol. Do not react. You are the saboteur. It is your job to ensure your team fail this challenge. You can do this by poisoning your team, and of course, yourself. I will tell you where the poison is. It is up to you how you use this information. So, the next saboteur is Samadol. If he remains undetected, Samadol will be safe, and just a flaw from freedom. But can he do it? Unfortunates, this is Poison Banquet. To pass as a team, you must eat three good cakes before you eat three poisoned ones. Let the challenge begin now. Samadol, the cake with the blue sweet on top is poisoned. That's the cake you want them to choose. I think it's the blue. Red. Samadol? Which one? Red. Wonderful. Yeah. Oh dear. Yes. Don't worry, you can get them this time. The cake with the purple sweet is poisoned. Make them pick the purple one. Purple. Yellow. Yellow. I'll taste it. This is not looking good. Yes. Samadol, you have to take control of this game. They're walking all over you. Oh! What are you lot doing here? Stay focused. Make them choose the cake what with the pink sweet. Is? It's poisoned. Hmm? Uh, the pink? Pink. That's brown. Is that brown? brown. Come on, Go Samadol. On. Go on, Mitchell. <laughs> Go on, Mitchell. Unfortunates, you have passed. Therefore, the saboteur is automatically locked in the room. Ooh. Samadol. Who do you think the saboteur was, and why? I think it was Mitchell, because he never well, took part of most of the challenges that we had to do. Mitchell? I think it was Samadol, because he was the one that was suggesting the wrong ones, when me and Shamara suggested the right ones. Shamara? I think it was Samadol, because me and Mitchell kept on going for the right cakes, and he kept on saying, no, I think it was this one and that one. So me and Mitchell went for the right ones, and he didn't. You voted for Samadol. The saboteur was, in fact... Samadol. Samadil, you failed miserably to sabotage the challenge, and you were detected. Therefore, you will not be leaving this room. The others are free to pass to the next floor. Trapped! <laughs> Samadil, why do you think you failed as the saboteur? Well, I think Shamara and Mitchell suspected me because they were choosing the right ones, and I was choosing the wrong ones. Poor, unfortunate Samadol. You're trapped! He <laughs> for trapped! <laughs> Samadol couldn't poison his teammates, but which one of them will be tasting the sweetness of freedom? Floor two. One way out, and there can only be one winner. It's the fight for freedom! Let's hope the unfortunate has been paying attention. Now they have to fight for their freedom by answering questions about their time in the tower. They're both after the key of freedom. It's simple. Win and you'll escape. Lose and you'll be trapped. 
away. I'm so excited, I could sn 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 <laughs> Told you. Unfortunates, this is your fight for freedom. The unfortunate with the most correct answers will be the winner. You have 60 seconds to prove yourself. Let the challenge begin now. Mitchell, in Snake Attack, how many times did Chamara get bitten? Three. Correct. Shamara, who is trapped on the sixth floor? Samadol. Incorrect. Marie. Mitchell, in Freaky Factory, what color was the first egg box on the conveyor belt? Green. Incorrect. Purple. Shamara, in Poison Banquet, how many candlesticks were there on the table? Five. Incorrect. Two. Mitchell, Poison Banquet trapped which unfortunate? Samadol. Correct. Shamara, which two unfortunates have to draw straws at the end of Freaky Factory? Chapressa and Bradley. Correct. Mitchell, in Toxic Treats, how many presents had maybe written on the label? Two. Incorrect. One. Shamara, in Toxic Treats, how many votes as saboteur did Shamara get? None. Correct. Mitchell, in Freaky Factory, how many eggs did each egg box hold? Six. Correct. Mitchell and Shamara, your time is up. Mitchell answered three questions correctly. Shamara answered two questions correctly. Mitchell, you are the winner. Shamara, how do you feel about being trapped? Uh, I feel quite upset and annoyed that I didn't win, but most of the questions were hard for me. Poor, unfortunate Shamara. You're trapped! Mitchell, you have won your freedom. Take the key and leave the tower before I change my mind. Can't get me now! I'm free! Yeah, Mitchell is going home. The others are trapped all alone. <laughs> but what about that thieving squirrel? Well, I've trapped the creature that was scuffing all my cheese. Yeah. <laughs> it's me, my own poorly hand. I just slept for 40 snozzes and must have eaten the cheese in my sleep. Ooh, I better get this trap off before another bobbing craft of unfortunates arrives. Me. That's right, go on, laugh. Yeah, there's always more of them on their way. Now you can scram fast before I shut the door. Well, you don't want to get trapped.